Breaking news Nikki told us about WNCN's David Hurst is now at the scene of the power outage and accident. David? Hey, good morning, Maggie. As you can imagine, it's still a mess out here. If you take a look behind me, you'll see crews are continuing to work to clear those down power lines from the road. Please tell us a pickup truck crashed into a power pole and caused several power lines to fall onto the roadway. At that point, they blocked off this entire road, and it's still blocked off. It caused several power outages across the city. We're told at one point there are about 800 people without power, but that number has since been reduced to about 50. As for the folks in Inside the pickup truck, we're told they were taken to Wake Med Hospital. It's unknown what their injuries were and how long uh, crews are going to be out here clearing the scene, but we'll continue to keep you updated. And as Nikki told you a little while ago, uh, there are some alternate alternate routes you can take to get around uh, this this uh, this closed roadway. And we're not sure exactly how long it'll be closed, but be sure to stay tuned to WNCN for those alternate routes and to find out when things open back up. Reporting live in Garner, David Hurst, WNCN News. Thanks, David. We'll continue to check back in with you throughout the morning. Well, right now, police are looking for the person.